Welcome back to 602 Row Show, making fantasy VIP picks for the Rose League app. This is going to be the last week, second to last episode, Monday night. They have decided to split the live finale nonsense into two nights. We're going to do two different lineups. Uh, the big thing this week is going to be figuring out your narrative and then praying like hell that you're right. This has been a, a really frustrating season. Um, let's hop into the pricing here first. Uh, pretty standard with what we've seen here over the last couple weeks, uh, although the middle's kind of shaken out a little bit. Um, you've got uh, your heavy hitters at the top. You have Florence all the way down at 11. Uh, if you feel she's a play, um, you can definitely do some more creative things with your lineup with her in there um, than all of these middle pieces. So definitely take a look at that. Um, I think there's a rose ceremony tonight. Uh, I know that I've said that it feels like almost every episode. Um, however, there needs to be one more rose ceremony. Um, the way this is going to work is they're going to take the remaining beach footage and they're going to take um, the reunion show and they're going to do their live in-studio stuff with Jesse. Some mixture of the three of those will be the next two episodes. Um, the proposals and engagements should be the end of the show. It's the, it's the goal. It's the end. So what I'm anticipating is that this episode monday night's episode will have a rose ceremony that gets our couples down whittled down to the finals that are all together it eliminates the extra women um so if you do think the rose ceremony is tonight know that the men should men should have the roses uh to eliminate the women down to an even number um so you do want women in your roster because you'll get those free rose points again if it happens uh, nothing in studio counts, nothing reunion show counts, nothing not on the beach counts. So if it's out of the context of the BIP setting, uh, they won't count for points. So keep all that in mind. Uh, again, the narrative that you believe in, uh, you really have different ways to approach. Uh, so I think there's a rose ceremony Monday, not Tuesday. So you have time to get the women in. Uh, I'm going to go uh, somewhat down that angle. Uh, my team, got to have Genevieve every week. Genevieve, Genevieve, Genevieve. Uh, but then I'm going to pivot a little bit here and take Brandon and Serene. Um, we're going to build their base up and get ready for their engagement. Um, if there is that rose ceremony, Serene's definitely getting his rose. They are the two who are constantly saying they love each other. Bank those points. Um the downside to that is if they don't get a chunk of narrative here, you might get burned a little bit. But the floor of that rose point and just the floor of them in general uh, should be enough to kind of kind of get you through it there. Uh, and then I think there's the rose ceremony, so I'm going to go with Brittany. And then the tough one for me was, was the fifth person here, and uh, Danielle is going to be my fifth. Danielle and Michael both go home. They go home instead of getting engaged, but they self-eliminate. I think it's a rose ceremony, and I think they will self-eliminate Tuesday night as part of the resolution of these couples. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for them to cut their stay short when they're talking about how they're still getting to know each other and making use of this time. So I, I think she gets her rose and then stays Monday night. Um, watch them leave as like the credits, the, the credits roll on Monday night. But I, I think that's the way this one plays out. Should get this rose ceremony and they should be safe. But know that Michael and Danielle do both go home uh, versus completing the show. Good luck with your picks for Monday. Uh, know that if you miss on the narrative for Monday night, there's only one episode left. So if you miss on the rose, rose ceremony, there will be a rose ceremony tomorrow. Uh, you can only be wrong one more time. So uh, good luck to you on that. Uh, drop your lineup in the comments, and good luck.